Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today, got another speculative coin mining video. My first Prog Pow uh, algorithm. It's on Hydnora coin. We'll see what it's about and how to mine it. See you in a bit. All right, real quick before we go on, guys, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell below. Got a couple of videos coming out every week. Speculative coin mining videos, a little bit on trading here and there, what's the best miner, etc. So do that real quick. And if you like this kind of content, hit that thumbs up. It helps me, helps the channel. I would appreciate it. All right, so let's get into Hydnora coin. I believe that's how you say it. Over here in a Bitcoin talk, um, First off, all these links will be down below this video, so don't worry about trying to find any of this stuff for yourself. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for you guys to get right on mining these coins. So, um, as you can see, announcement launched on May 15th. It actually launched late last night. That's when I started mining it. Uh, but Hydnora, uh, again, this is Russian translation, so this might not read uh, exactly perfectly. Uh, a new cryptocurrency created for the community on its blockchain platform on Ethereum, which combines POW and Node system to protect the network from hacking with a very limited release of proof of stake. Casper, with the main task, creating bonus point system in stores with convenient and simplified mobile wallet. See what I mean? Doesn't read that well. Uh, a new ProgPow algorithm, ETH, anyone can create smart contracts on our blockchain platform. So nuts and bolts of it um, smart contract platform using the prog pow eth algorithm uh, i'm not going to read through all this and bore you guys to death on it uh, here is their website a little bit more on it basically what i just said uh, if we scroll down to look at the coin facts there's a nice little wallet i mean a nice little uh, website technical specs ticker hora uh, new eth prog pal not asic um, 15 second block time, 10, uh, 10 Hora, I guess it would be, reward for every block, 90 million uh, total supply. So that's, it's not a super low supply, but it's definitely not a high supply, so I'm fine with that supply. Um, definite chance for the coin price to be decent going forward if it uh, catches on, of course. Never know with these speculative type coins. Um, so that's it on Hydnora. Let's get into how to mine it. So it's got an online wallet right here, um, Mew type wallet. So I'm not going to walk you through this. It's real simple. You create a password, create a wallet. It'll give you your private key, and then you'll be able to get your uh, wallet address. So once you do all that, you know what? Let me just do it real quick for uh, shits and grins. All right, so. I'll enter anything because I don't really care. Create new wallet. So you, it's going to ask you to download your key store file. You download that computer, keep it in a safe spot. Click I understand and continue. Well, let me do this. So once you download it, it'll let you go. I understand and continue. This is your private key. Again, this is a fictitious wallet, so I'm not going to be using this. But anyways, this is what the next screen looks like. Print paper wallet. And it'll pop this up, and this is this is going to be right here. Your wallet address, the OX6F, etc., etc. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little better. That will be your wallet address. That's what you're going to need for mining. Uh, once you, again, I usually save it as a PDF on my computer, but you can do what you want, print it out, you know, it's up to you. So once you do that, click save your address. Come on, let me scroll down, guy. And now it's locking up on me. All right, well, Anyways, once this thing gets done loading and it does what it's going to do, it's hanging up for some reason right now. I don't control this website. But you click save your address. Next screen you would be able to go to 
a screen where you can open up your wallet, you just enter your password, private, put your private key in, etc. Again, this is the only thing we're going to need for mining right there anyways. So, um, it's got its own specific miner for it. Let me X out of that. So, scroll down here, Hora Prog Pow Miner.01. What I have, Windows um, operating system and an NVIDIA rig. So, I did this top guy right here, CUDA 10.0 Windows.rar. All right. So, let me pull up my rig. This is the miner running right now. So, let me go ahead and stop it. Pull up my miners folder. So once you um, download that, I unzipped it. You'll need 7-zip um, to download or un unzip that file because uh, it's a dot .rar. But once you do that, I put it in its own folder, Hydnora Miner. So you go into here, a couple little folders you got to go to. Go into the bin. This is the file you're going to need. Again, the copy of this file is down below. So edit. The only thing you're going to need to change in this is, of course, your wallet address, which is right here. And uh, there's only one pool right now, so you're going to have to pretty much stick with this pool. So only thing you're going to need is change your wallet address and this dot NVIDIA rig. That's your rig identifier. Um, you can put minor one or whatever you want in there. It doesn't really matter. Most important thing, though, change your wallet address. Okay, so once that's done, just save this information exactly. Again, this is right below this video. Just copy that, change that wallet address, and then um, save it. You can overlap and save this file right here. You can save it with that same name, or you can go File, Save As. Just make sure it's in that same folder and put, I'll just put run.bat. Just make sure it's a .bat, a Windows batch file. And that's that. So all you gotta do now is double click on the file. Should pull up. Here we go, computer's a little laggy guys. My apologies. All right, so let's try this again. Double click on the file you just created. Now, see how it's counting down right here? I had to, this miner, again, it's a newer miner for this algorithm created by the developers. It was every about hour or so the miner would stop mining. So I had to go into the Discord and the guy helped me out with a little script um, so that when it does hang up like that, it'll automatically restart again because for some reason, like I said, after about an hour, it would stop. So here, it is. now it pulls up, waits about 30 seconds, pulls up, the miner will start. Um, just keep it like that. Again, I'll show you that real quick. I can pull this up. So edit, this little timeout 30 seconds, start. So start, timeout 30 seconds, go to start. That was all added uh, because the miner, like I said, for whatever reason would stop. So just only thing you gotta change is your wallet address right there, okay? And you won't, shouldn't have to worry about it stopping uh, on you midstream. So the pool for it, there's only one pool right now that I'm aware of, that I've seen, and that is right here. So let me hit refresh, pool.hydnora.org. And here is my miner working. Again, you always want to make sure your miner is hooked up to the pool. So you would just go to uh, home page, put in your wallet address, which mine's already in there. Click, look up, <coughs> and there we go. So 379, I've been total paid so far. Not bad with a 90 million coin supply. Uh, 39 blocks I've found. If we pull up my spreadsheet, so let's put 379 in now, 379. So that's about a dollar 90 I've made in less than 24 hours. Of course, it's not an exchange. I'm valuing the coin right now at 0 0.005 cents. So half of a penny. I think that's uh, not too far off of an estimate. Could be a little less, could be a little more, who knows. But 379 coins, and I started mining it probably about 
nine o'clock last night so not too bad so far and you know first prog pal coin uh, not too many of them I know Bitcoin interest is one of them of course speculated that ethereum is supposed to be going to it etc but one of the few prog pal coins and um, another thing on it overclocks I got zero on the core zero on the memory I found that if I tried overclocking it as far as the mega hash on the cards barely it's negligible so I just said forget it uh, mega hash on a 1070 ti is 12.65 I know that's moving pretty fast 12.65 mega hash and 9.43 mega hash on the 1066 gig so giving you combined 22.12 mega hash uh, total for both of these cards so whether that's good or not I don't know maybe some of you guys want to know the different type of metrics on what these cards will do on prog pal so that's at least what my cards are doing again trying to overclock them didn't really do much of anything I think I gained at most one mega hash across both cards so at least from what I can see prog pal for hide Nora coin overclocking doesn't seem to really matter but anyways uh, so I guess that's going to be it for today's video guys um, if you have any questions or comments put them down below I'd definitely be uh, get back to you guys if you like this video again hit that thumbs up and if you are new here again be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell and until the next one I'll see you later bye